In the tri-state area now following a federally recommended pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This all prompted by concerns about rare cases of blood clots. We've got team coverage on this story tonight, and we begin with CBS 2's Alice Gaynor with more on the direct impact on our area. Officials around the tri-state area say so far there are no reports of blood clots here related to the J&J &J shot. So far, there's been 234,000 doses of a Johnson Johnson vaccine given. In New Jersey, we have administered roughly 235,000 doses. We have administered over 100,000 doses of the J&J &J vaccine here in Connecticut. Still, all three states are taking the recommendation and keeping the J&J &J vaccine on ice for now. We do have enough Pfizer and we do have enough Moderna vaccination to keep our schedule. I only found out when my mom called me and told me about it at like 8.30 this morning. At the Javits Center, we caught up with people originally scheduled for a J&J &J dose today. They were given the option of getting the Pfizer vaccine. I like the Johnson Johnson because it was only once, but with all kind of what's going on with some of the side effects, like it's better peace of mind to just know that getting the Pfizer one and I'll just come back in three weeks. I really didn't mind either or. I trust uh, whatever they recommended in there. In Patterson, New Jersey, the mayor says the city was only using J&J &J the past two weeks. We canceled roughly 600 plus today. Last week, we administered 1,300 doses of Johnson & Johnson and the week prior, roughly 1,000. But come tomorrow. For the first time in about two weeks, we're doing Moderna again. Mayor de Blasio says the homebound initiative, that's where they go to seniors' homes and vaccinate them, relies heavily on the J&J &J vaccine. So right now, that too is paused while they figure something else out. At the Javits Center, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.